Hey everyone, my name is Artindi and I'm going to show you how to make your pixel art sprites light up like this. A normal map is a texture that uses blue, red, and green colors to help your computer or game engine understand surface directions for each pixel in a 2D image in order to figure out how light should interact with that image. It's a bunch of sciencey math stuff that I'm sure is really cool, but I mean, as long as it works, who cares? Most methods for creating a normal map are very complicated or unreliable, at least in my experience, especially for pixel art. So I'm gonna show you how to make a normal map by hand for your pixel art sprites. Find a normal map sphere on the internet that you like and download it. Open it in a sprite or whatever program you're using and remove any background colors. Adjust the size down to something more workable, such as 64 by 64. Now, depending on the game engine you are using and the direction of X and Y in that game engine, you will need to orient the normal map sphere to reflect that. For example, in Godot, the X axis counts up to the right, but the Y axis increases as you move down. So for me, I'm going to just invert the sphere upside down. Once you have the orientation the way you need it to be, then you are ready for... Pick the sprite you wish to create a normal map for and revert it to its base colors. Make a copy of it and plop it down in a canvas next to your normal map sphere. This step is the hardest part, but I'm sure it becomes easier with practice. Imagine different surface directions on your sprite and try to find surfaces on the sphere that face the same direction. Recolor your sprite according to matching surfaces. For example, this surface perhaps is facing at an angle up to the right. So we will take a color that seems to be in that direction as well in the sphere and fill it in. Here's a few tips for you. Remember that pixel art is simple, so try to keep your normal map just as simple. And unless the matching surface is facing you, try to use surfaces on the sphere that are more towards the outer edges. I found I get a cleaner result if I do that. You probably won't get it right the first time for each sprite, especially at first. So leave your image editor open to tweak the normal map while testing it in your game engine. Save or import your base color sprite and normal map into your game engine. Make sure both are aligned perfectly before you do. Then go ahead and use them in whatever way your game engine requires. In the Godot engine, all you need is a 2D node and just click and drag the sprite and normal map into their respected fields. This method is not perfect, but with practice, I'm sure you can get pretty good. Overall, it is the easiest way that I have found to dynamically light my sprites, and I felt it would be good to share. So I guess, Thank you so much for watching. You guys are always so awesome. Um, if you know any other cool ways to create a normal map, please let us know in the comments. I mean, people are watching this video because they're trying to find a good way to do that. So, you know, help us out. But thank you so much and have a beautiful day.